All right, here we have an Edison Thin and Light from probably the mid-80s. Um, this is actually the childhood version of this fan. Um, actually still have the original one. But this is the one that's in slightly better shape. Um, it's got the tan blades, the tan grill, tan cabinet. It's a two-speed. It has the handle. Oh my god, it has the freaking handle. Believe it or don't. It has the handle. But yeah. Has the Edison Toastmaster banana blades. There's the back of it. Now, the story behind these fans and why they're kind of childhood is years ago. Before I had this garage as my shop, there used to be a whole bunch of box fans that sat on this uh, workbench area. There was like probably maybe six or seven of them that all were sitting here stacked. Well, not stacked, but you know, in rows back here. And. One of them was one of these Edison thinning lights with a melted blade that was my mom's fan. And somehow we ended up with it. Um, I think my mom actually wanted it. So we took it and we used it at our house at the time. And then when we moved out of that house, a lot of stuff got left behind. And one of those, well... A lot of my original fan collection ended up disappearing at that house. Um, um, what had happened was my mom and my stepdad got a divorce. And I had like all my fan collection at this house. And um, one of the fans that got lost was one of these. It was her fan actually and it was all... One of the blades is all melted from when her dad, which would have been my grandpa, used it as by the wood stove at their old house. Um, so the blade got warm and obviously melted, but somehow the fan still worked. It looked funky, but it worked. But anyway... So that's why I have a childhood connection to these Thin and Light fans. Um, uh, the rest of the fans that were originally sitting over here all ended up getting tossed. And Me being me as a kid, I made a big fuss about it. And they're like, oh, we don't need all them old fans. Let's throw them all away. You know, typical parent crap. But anyway, the only one that did get saved and eventually got lost was the Edison Thin and Light. Um, I did find another one of these later on down the road when I was like mm, 12, maybe? I don't know. But anyway, it was still when those uh, more square-ish Galaxy Box fans were being sold in the 2000s. And I bought one of those and traded it to the owner and ended up having one of these. Not a, not this one. I actually have the original, but this is not the original one. I actually bought this from my old neighbor several years ago. Um, but, yeah. So, I've always had a soft spot for these Edison Thin and Light fans. I don't know why. That's probably why, I guess. So, yeah. We do have it hooked up to the kilowatt meter. And we'll start it on high. This one seems to run kind of rough for some reason. But it works. Moving some air too. Drawing 151 watts on high. 
between 2.1 amps. I'm not sure what the motor is rated for. I guess I could look. Go below. I'm not sure why this fan's so rattly. Part of it is this handle. It's a good running fan. On low, it's drawing 1.1 amps and 88.5 watts. It's kind of going up and down. This fan has two off positions one there and one there. Back to high. Surprisingly, this did not tip over. And off. But yeah, these Edison Thin and Light fans held a special place in my heart. Always, they always will. Especially the banana bladed ones. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. And thanks for watching.